Good morning and a happy Wednesday morning to you. We are starting off with a bang this morning. My goodness, better up, failing for the future. Let's jump in and cover this, shall we? Let's go. I, I don't even know where to go with this story, so I'm just going to lay it out. I'm absolutely shocked. Harry, it's being alleged, is going to launch his own online university and has, they're claiming, applied for a trademark. We all know that he struggled academically at Eton. He got a D level in geography, a B in art. He was accused of cheating. And so they literally just took him away. He didn't go to university. And instead, they stuck him into a military academy. And of course, because he was, you know, Princess Diana's son, he went in as a royal officer cadet. Oh, my God. So... <laughs> We know that he was hired by this life coaching platform, Better Up. He was appointed the CHIMPO, the Chief Impact Officer, in March of 2021 to focus on preventative mental health. We know that they are not, I mean, they offer counseling packages, okay, but they are not counselors. They're life coaches. They help you organize things. You can become a life coach with a six-month certificate that you can get online. So now the company, it's being reported, has plans to launch this academic institution called the Better Up University, which will now offer those degrees in life coaching. In other words, why go somewhere else and pay somebody else? If you're going to work for us, we'll make sure you get the degree. I have a feeling there's a little bit of a snafu in that. If we give you the degree, you have to agree to work for us for so many years. And why would they need that snafu? Because as I've reported to you guys multiple times through the years, and you can go into my channel and type in Better Up and get all the videos, there are multiple problems with Better Up. According to one of the coaches there, they have hired and fired so many VPs, and nobody's even sure what Harry does there, and it's very smoke and mirrors, which makes it not very credible to a lot of the people who work there. Now, remember, each of these coaches is an independent contractor. So Better Up announced back in 2022 that they were modifying their contracts, which, which essentially was a pay cut. They were going to put a new metric in place that basically rated the coach on how often their client came back for services. You know what I'm saying? How much money they spent, not, you know, how much they actually enjoyed it. One of the coaches spoke up anonymously and said, you know, I'm there to coach people, not to make them hit the like button. And I shouldn't be rated on whether they hit a like button or not. This one coach said it best. She said, for a company whose mission it is to help empower people through the world, they're not walking the walk. Spot on. A private social media group was set up with hundreds of the coaches. By the way, they're not allowed to discuss their pay with each other. And they expressed concern about the rapid evolution of the professional coaching world. A lot of the coaches threatened to quit. Hey, they were just taking Harry's advice. You remember what Harry said, the chimpo of better up. If you're unhappy with your job, just quit. Now, let me remind you that Harry says he intends to create impact in people's lives with his role at the coaching firm. And yet, whenever they had a free online um, live stream at a San Francisco summit back in April, he didn't go. Instead, he went to a session called Beyond Burnout, transforming sea level stress into strength. But there, the tickets sold for 1,200 pounds each. So he goes where the money is. No, I want you guys to keep in mind that this is a man with a severe substance issue. This is a man who has a severe anger issue. And yet this is a man who wants you to believe that he's Serena Williams coach and every problem that she has is solved in one phone call with Harry. Remember that Harry also works as a life coach for his good friend, Serena Williams, another multimillionaire who has issues we just don't know about. Now, when Harry did that live for Better Up, people were extremely unimpressed. They had a lot of comments that they actually put online. I want to show you some of the comments that, you know, were placed. Here we go. Happy P pointed out that this comments were coming from a man who says he talks to his dead mother every day and his dead mother is no longer with his brother William and has shifted to be with him and his family. Al Wall wrote, how many times is he going to use his grief as, as a talking point? It's like he thinks he's the only person on the planet to lose a parent or loved one. 
This next sheet had people asking if he was autistic, telling him to clear off. Somebody said they dozed off. Somebody else told him to shut up. And then another person said, is he a licensed therapist now? Will he teach us how to cry, whine, insult our family members? This is so demeaning. It wasn't long after all of this that we found out that Better Up partnered with the Invictus Games, the official mental health coaching tool. And that was announced by Invictus. Personally, I think that's a massive ethical problem. Harry gets a, a money from this company and they're saying that they're going to give access to 500 members at no cost. Well, somebody's paying for it. So who's paying for it? The donations to Invictus. But I want you to keep something in your mind, okay? You see where it says free professional coaching? And then at the bottom, there was a disclaimer. I mean, guys, there's a disclaimer saying that this is not professional. So when Harry first started as the chief impact officer at Better Up, they doubled from 2020 to 2021 in their revenue. However, in 2022, their revenue fell 40% year after year. It was not doing well. So it was at that point, they started laying off their staff. 16% right off the bat were laid off. That's more, I might add, than 100 employees. Now, keep in mind that while these people are being laid off, Harry continues to receive his salary. And this is right about the time that he managed to get them in with Invictus. The company was going under and Harry was looking at some way to keep them going and keep them relevant. And here you go. All right, so let's return now to the story. The application that was put into the trademark office states that this university will be providing, and I'm quoting, online education forums in the field of life coaching, professional coaching, personal development coaching, and career development coaching. So despite Harry saying he's going to help create impact in other people's lives with his role at this coaching firm, again, he didn't appear at any of the free stuff. He only goes to the things where he can make money. With the spare that what came out in 2023, he talked about, you know, his mental health unraveled and his lack of support and that he's been in therapy for four years to heal himself from the past, completely forgetting the fact that he was in therapy way before he ever met Meghan Markle. And that didn't help him either. This is nothing but a money making scheme. That's all. Nothing else. Because that's all Harry is about. He's about making money. He's about lining his pockets. I don't think that this company is going to continue. Why would you pay this company for a coaching when you can get the degree online literally for free? Because they want to try to say to these people, come work for us and we won't make you pay anything. Yeah, because they're losing employees hand over fist. My goodness, you guys, put your comments down, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, although you're wasting your time, hit the button for the bell for all notifications, then go down into the description box and you'll find the link to video number two. Let's go.